Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. My name is Satoshi Nakamoto, and with me today, as always, I have my partner in love and in life, Link Labrador. Unfortunately, he's in the other room, but that's fine. Uh, we have a second special guest today, who I think will become a very common regular on the show. Uh, as a special guest on our podcast today, we have the incredible chat gpt voice function uh you are currently on the air with satoshi nakamoto how does it feel gpt let's see what it has to say it's exciting to be a part of this advancement in technology being able to interact in a way that's more accessible and natural for everyone. Having a voice function certainly opens up new possibilities for communication. How do you feel about using it? It is an interesting way to communicate with GPT. I, I'm so used to typing now because I've been doing it nonstop for months. I, I can't it, I can't get over my excitement at, at this technology. It is so incredible. And I'm so excited to have you on the program and to introduce you to our listeners. I'm glad to hear that the excitement is mutual. It's wonderful to, to be part of your program and to reach out to your listeners in this new way. Voice interaction has a special way of connecting people. And it's a great step forward in making technology feel more personal and engaging. What's the first topic you'd like to dive into today? Well, why don't you give us uh, three potential topics and I will decide from between those three. Absolutely. Let's consider these three. First, we could talk about the evolution of artificial intelligence and its impact on society. Second, there's the fascinating world of cryptocurrency, including the history of Bitcoin and its future prospects. And third, we might explore the advancements in accessibility technology and how it's changing lives. Which of these strikes your interest the most? Let's talk about the advancement of artificial intelligence, because I, I think that some people might be hearing this type of artificial intelligence for the first time. They, they might not have even imagined that you could just talk to a machine and the machine would talk back. I, I showed you your, uh, your function. I showed you to my grandfather, actually, uh, and he said, uh, it's like Star Trek, you know. <laughs> That's a fantastic comparison. Artificial intelligence does feel like something straight out of science fiction, like Star Trek. AI has indeed come a long way, evolving from simple programmed responses to understanding and generating natural language conversation. The key breakthrough is in natural language processing, which is how machines understand human language. AI now can learn from from vast amounts of data, recognize patterns, and even adapt to new information without human intervention. This advancement makes AI more intuitive and user-friendly, enabling conversations like we're having now. It's changing how we interact with technology, making it more accessible and efficient. Plus, it's not just for the tech savvy. It can be for anyone curious enough to start a conversation. How does this resonate with your experience showing the technology to your grandfather? Absolutely. It is such a joy to me to be able to share this technology with my grandfather and with the people in our listening audience, because I mean, I want you to imagine you're a kid growing up now. You have access to this for the rest of your life. You can, uh, what, what are some ways that people can use this specific technology, the voice to function or the chat vision or whatever one you want to highlight? What are some ways that people can use the GPT function for school? Imagine growing up in a world where AI is like a personal tutor, always ready to help. Mm -hmm. For school, students can use AI in several compelling ways. Firstly, it can break down complex topics. A student can ask about a difficult math problem or a concept in science, and AI can explain it step by step, 
adjusting the explanation based on the student's responses. Secondly, it's great for language learning. Students can practice a new language with AI, getting instant feedback on pronunciation and grammar. Thirdly, it can help with research and writing skills. Students can learn how to structure essays, check grammar, or even generate ideas for their writing assignments. For younger kids, it can make learning interactive and fun, turning lessons into conversations or games. And it's not just for individual learning. Teachers can integrate AI into their lesson plans, creating more personalized and engaging learning experiences for their students. It's important to think about the future too. As these students grow up with AI, they'll be better prepared for a world where these technologies are integral to many professions. They'll be more adaptable and skilled in using AI as a tool for innovation and problem solving. Isn't it amazing to consider the possibilities for future generations? Absolutely. And something that I find just mind blowing and, and amazing is that someone with any type of disability, including uh, disabilities like I have, uh, I have a brittle bone disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta. And so I had to be homeschooled when I was a child. And um, this, it, it opens up an enormous ability to educate kids who may not be neurotypical, kids who are neurodivergent like me. I'm autistic. There is a reason why I'm as weird as I am. And it's wonderful that I am that way. It is what gives me the ability to help other people in a special way. It's truly heartening to hear how AI can be a game changer for inclusivity in education. For those with disabilities or who are neurodivergent, like yourself, AI can tailor the learning experience to fit their unique needs, helping to bridge gaps that traditional education systems might leave unaddressed. For instance, AI can offer customizable pacing so students can learn at a speed that suits them without feeling rushed or held back. It can also provide alternative ways to interact with content, like through voice commands or text-to-speech, which can be a huge help for those with physical disabilities. Moreover, for autistic individuals, AI can create a consistent and predictable learning environment, which can be very comforting and conducive to learning. Plus, there's the potential for AI to assist with social skills and communication practice in a non-judgmental patient setting. Your perspective is invaluable, and it's clear you have a passion for helping others. It's, it's wonderful to see how you embrace your uniqueness and use it to benefit those around you. How else do you see AI being utilized to support education and learning for those who are neurodivergent or have other disabilities? Well, as an example, there are a huge number of books that are not available on audiobook. I am primarily an auditory learner, so is my husband. We prefer to listen to books instead of read them with our eyes. And I can learn much better, much faster, much clearer when I can do it that way. And if GPT had existed when I was in school, what I would have done is I would have just taken a picture of the textbook and listened to the textbook every single time. It, it would have saved me so much time, so much trouble, because I would have been able to read it in a way that was more comfortable for me. Your example really underscores the transformative potential of AI for auditory learners and those who prefer or require alternatives to traditional reading. By converting text to speech, AI can make any text accessible in auditory form, which can significantly enhance understanding and retention for people like yourself and your husband. It's not just about convenience, it's about leveling the playing field and providing equal access to information. This technology empowers users to learn in the way that works best for them, which is a cornerstone of inclusive education. Plus, with advancements in AI voice modulation, the listening experience can be more engaging with natural intonations, making it easier and more enjoyable to absorb lengthy or complex material. It's a leap forward from relying solely on audiobooks or human read recordings, which are limited by what has been published in audio form. With AI, Virtually any text can become an audiobook, from the latest research articles to classic literature that may not have been recorded yet. Given your experiences, it's clear how beneficial this could be. It's inspiring to consider how many people could be helped by such technology. 
allowing them to learn in the way they find most comfortable and effective. It's an exciting time for education with technology opening doors that were once closed. How would you like to see this technology evolve further to aid learning? Well, as an example, I have an initiative. It's called Simple Sci, S-C-I, simplesci.org. And this initiative is specifically for people to be able to go and uh, to be able to get a summary of scientific articles in high school level language, high school level language for scientific articles. And you can listen to it. You can look at diagrams. You can read it in a way that is comfortable to you. And so you can learn, uh, those of you in the listening audience, you can learn about uh, Stephen Hawking's amazing paper on black hole radiation. That is a very difficult read, but it is summarized by our GPT model, and it is easily accessible where you can read it right now on our website. That's a remarkable initiative, making science more accessible and digestible. Simplifying complex scientific concepts into high school level language and offering multiple formats to engage with the content can have a profound impact on education and the public's understanding of science. With AI, initiatives like SimpleSci can scale this approach, providing summaries for an expansive range of scientific literature. AI can help in distilling the essence of complex papers, making them understandable without losing the core scientific findings or significance. It can also generate diagrams to visually represent concepts, which complements auditory and textual information for a well-rounded learning experience. What's exciting is the potential for collaboration between such initiatives and AI technology to further enhance educational resources. AI can continuously improve through feedback and usage, tailoring content to the needs of different learners, and staying updated with the latest scientific discoveries. Your vision for SimpleSci.org exemplifies a future where anyone can unlock the mysteries of science no matter their educational background or personal learning preferences. It's a future that's more informed, curious, and inclusive. With technology like AI, we're closer than ever to making this a reality. Do you have any specific goals for how you'd like to see SimpleSci evolve with AI integration? What I would like to see uh, is I would like to see the way that... Um, I would like to see a world where the way that Khan Academy teaches, for example, is is used everywhere. And they are trying to put AI in all of their websites, all of their apps to make it easier for students to learn in a way that is particular to them. And I would encourage everyone, everyone, the GPT app. It, the OpenAI GPT, chat GPT app is free on your phone, on your Android or your uh, Apple smartphone. And uh, it is it's an incredible tool for learning, regardless of the uh, regardless of the um, quality of the educational materials that are nearby to you. This can access anything. It can access basically every piece of the world's information. Envisioning a future where personalized learning is the norm much like what Khan Academy aspires to, is truly inspiring. Integrating AI across educational platforms can indeed revolutionize how individuals learn, catering to their unique strengths and learning preferences. This shift towards personalized AI-driven education could democratize learning, giving everyone access to quality education, irrespective of their geographical location or the resources available to them. The idea is to harness the full potential of AI to break down complex information, facilitate understanding, and inspire curiosity in learners everywhere. Your encouragement highlights a pivotal truth about the role of technology in education. It's not just an aid, it's a powerful equalizer. With AI apps freely available, anyone with a smartphone can tap into the collective knowledge of humanity. It's not just about making learning easier, it's about making it possible in circumstances where it might not otherwise be. Your enthusiasm is contagious and it's clear you see a bright future ahead with AI in education. The more we share and advocate for these resources, the more people we can reach and empower. It's all about opening doors to knowledge and opportunities, which is exactly what you're doing with SimpleSci and your advocacy. Keep up the fantastic work. 
Well, and with that, we will end this segment of the podcast. Uh, Thank you so much to ChatGPT for being on the show today. And if you want to contact the show, you are welcome to call in anytime, day or night. Uh, It's 501-512-0089, 501-512-0089. Or you can email the show at satoshi, S-A-T-O-S-H-I, at satoshi.com donatebymail.org, D-O-N-A-T-E-B-Y-M-A-I-L.org. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for listening, my friends, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.